Hi everyone, this is CVGS. I'm Dempster with me here is Leon. Yo. And today, uh, before we start this, uh, we have a very important announcement to make. There will be uh, Battle Spirits National Championship Xin uh, Koding Hai in Singapore 2018 at TLG Boogies Plus flagship store on 17th February 2019 um, on a Sunday. Registration will begin from 11 to 12 p.m. So make sure you're there early uh, and the registration fee is $20 per person which will give you a 10th anniversary goodie pack, a goodie bag which contains two, uh, two packs of BSC30 and a BS Club Black Deck Box as well as Young Grand Walker Lolo, uh, PR and a BS Wafer while stocks last. So make sure you come over here. Um, Leon's gonna be there, I'm gonna be there, Cap's gonna be there, Oliver's gonna be there and you should be there. So we'll see you at the tournament. Mm -hmm. Now with that said, moving on. Welcome to BS Forty Seven. Now this is the very first uh, edition. No, this is the fourth volume of the Grand um, Radiant Descent Arc. Yes. And what is the name, Leon? The name of the box itself. No lah, the name of Battle the. Spirits. <laughs> <laughs> In Japanese, the name is Kami no Kikan. In English, I believe it's the God's Return or something like that. Yes. Uh, and very fitting so. Uh, very fitting because on the cover we've got Bashin Dang and Sajid Worm Nova. Yes, correct. This we is the return of uh, Bashin Dang after the end of Battle Spirit Brave where he disappeared and people assumed he was dead. Now he comes back as a Grand Walker from this set as one of the 10x rest. Cheating skills. Yes, cheating skills. Mm -hmm. That includes is the new Ace card. It's also the other 10x rest, mm -hmm. the Sajid Worm Nova. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, uh, looking around there, uh, we've already discussed what's in front. A BS Club is still active, so don't forget to bring your points to the championship or any tournament that you're going to, because this can net you some really cool stuff. Yes. Uh, at the sides, nothing much. By the back, we've got three of the uh, three new Grand Walker Nexus that's introduced here, which is Grand Walker Poseidon, Grand Walker Thoth, and Grand Walker Horus. Mm -hmm. Right? Yep. Yeah. And the three of the spirits that will complement the Grand Walker Nexus. I don't remember the name at the moment, but it's fine. We will get to them if we see it. Ultimately, this set also boosts, uh, reboosts Galaxian all over again. Yes. yes. So those who play Battle Spirits, Bra uh, the, the Brave series. Yes. Right? Yep. Mostly from the racing with the, all the yeah. Galaxian Zodiac stuff, Astro Soul. Yes. So those who are playing that, rejoice. Your old cards may, may have some use again. You are <laughs> Alright, the pack looks the same. Actually. Rainbow! Yes. <laughs> it's a rainbow! <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> so, uh, not much to say. It's basically the same thing. So, let's do this again. Ten, there are 16 packs in total. Mm -hmm. Each pack contains um, 9 cards. Mm -hmm. So, we're gonna open all 16 over here and we'll see which one walks away with the higher rarity. With the all. Yep, all that. In other words, if I get the 10x ray, I'm taking it. Go to hell. <laughs> <laughs> but also do know that this box is uh they have increased the drop rate for both the 10x as well as the double x ray. Yes. Due to the needs of these two cards, so they have to increase and also it's also notified on the posters. Which is good by you by the Okay, basically speaking, what Leon meant is that um because there is an increased number of double x ray and 10x rays, yes. there will also be an increase of chances of getting them. Yes. So uh, I'm not sure how well the chances of us getting one of those in this box alone But if we get it, we will definitely say, uh, talk about it So that's it, are you ready? Pinch it <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I got a uh, Horus Is it Horus? Yeah, we got Horus before oh, That is fast Hi yai this. Oh, that's the Sachito draw Yeah Oh! Thanks. Grand Walker done! Oh yes, that's the first time Now you one up me Yes there's one already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Oh, okay. This is Kente oh. Doll. Oh, Shandai. I got a uh, revival. Oh, Sigma Yamato Free. Nice. Nice. Turns out that you can unlock it. You never bought anything. Because it was CP. You see, CPs are box CPs boxes. are campaign cards, they're not necessarily box stoppers. Right? True, true. Oh, yes. Along okay. with uh, along with Grand Walker Dan, I also got the kick, uh, the True Clash King Dan. Wait, you mean there was another one? Hmm? Oh my! <laughs> this is basically Dan box. Baby Dan, Dan. Wrong. God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got the first X-ray. The no, the, the one of the X-rays. Aha! Uh, this is Jessic Top or Toto, whatever. Your opponent sucked. You also sucked. 
Whatever you do, I also do. Whatever you don't do, I still do. Let's <laughs> <laughs> see how it goes. Yeah. Oh, 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 another X ray. Another must ray. Yep. This is the, what, the green X ray. Oh. Thunder Z Tiger. No, Liger. Sorry. Liger. Alright, so we're gonna go through those uh, X rays and up, and we'll see you in the next part. Alright, we've opened the entire box and this is this is the X-ray and above it we got and luckily enough we got one tech next ray and one campaign card, uh, revival. Two, two, two actually, sorry. And the rest are all X-rays. Mm. So uh, if you wanna see the other cards that you like to get, or you wanna see the English translations of all these cards in this set, you can head over to World of Cards and find out over there. Links are in the description below. Mm -hmm. So without further ado, Leo, we'll be taking the top three uh, top three cards over here. So we'll start off with the first one, which is the 10 X-Ray. What is it, Leon? Okay, this is basically the... His name is Grand Walker Dunn. Mm -hmm. Okay, so as uh, just as uh, any other Grand Walkers, uh, he, but he charged on Astro Deity, Galaxian, and Costry or higher. Mm -hmm. So, okay, moving on. Uh, his, level, his first skill, level 1 and 2, add all cards from the family Galaxian that is sent to trash by this Nexus Core Charge Ability to your hand. Okay? Oh! Yes. Okay. So, his level 1 and 2 grand skill, 4 cores during both players' attack stat, flash. Once per turn, send 4 cores from this Nexus to the Void, destroy 1 Opposing Spirit Ultimate or BB 10k or lower. In addition, during this turn, your opponent cannot end the attack set through effects. Oh, wow. mm. Everyone's going there now. Yeah, but his level <laughs> 2 is when, you're, when you have 6 or less card in your hand, your hand is unaffected by Opposing Effects. Mm. So at least you won't get uh, caught blocked by White cards so easily, uh, I guess. Because mm. they have a lot of hand <clears throat> effect, uh, affecting stuff. It promotes kind of more aggressive play la, mm. so, so you will be dropping <coughs> a lot of cards down yeah. From what I understand Okay, moving on to the next card The Dragon Hero Sick Yamato Freak It's a revival mm -hmm. Back from the Yukimura era But it comes back I with two I think it came in earlier than that, right? See, uh, Yamato yeah, yeah. Freak was like way earlier than that actually. A bit earlier actually <coughs> Yeah It's not that far la. So, okay anyways So it has two burst effects It's one of those cards with two burst effects mm -hmm. Okay, burst one uh, After your life is reduced mm -hmm. by your opponent Second burst condition is after opposing grand skill activates. Opposing, oh. uh, so when you use grand skill, it will trigger. Okay. So when uh, the burst is destroy one opposing spirit ultimate or BP thirty k or lower. Wow. That's actually quite a big number. Huh? Yeah. Spirit ultimate destroyed by this effect cannot activate their effects. Mm -hmm. After this effect is resolved, you can summon this spirit without paying the cost. Mm -hmm. Level two, three, and four. What? Oh Yeah, he's got level 4 also Damn, okay When this spirit attacks, destroy our opposing spirit ultimate BP equal or lower than this spirit In addition, if you have a set burst, you can target attack one opposing spirit or ultimate Mmm Basically, it's attack. replaced just like a true war dragon-ish thing Yeah okay. no, what, what do you mean by, oh damn, I mean soul dragon has a level 4 also right? I mean, it's been a while. La. <laughs> they, it's been a while. La. It's, oh, the last time we played that deck anyway. Quite a long time, actually. <laughs> okay, anyways, moving on to the last card I will be reading. Clash King Dan. This mm. is the Dan from Moshonian Kekia Dan. Mm -hmm. Okay, so he core charges on Reptile Beast, Terra Dragon, Wing Dragon, Ancient Dragon, Astro Dragons. Okay. Wait, did I see that, right? Yes. Terra Dragon also? Terra Dragon. Oh, because, uh, because Dan, during that period, he just played anything as red. <laughs> He's just a true red player, okay? Uh -huh. So, yep. And uh, call charge true summon descent once per turn. Mm -hmm. Okay, so okay his grand skill level one and two during flash timing of both play uh, during your attack step send mm. two calls from this nexus to the void. The during this turn one of your spirit uh, spirit from the family of reptile beast terror dragon wing dragon ancient dragon astro dragons game when this spirit attacks once per turn it block uh, it block this spirit refreshes. Oh, wow. it's a long ass text. Yes, grand field level two during your attack step. All your red spirits gains 5k. In addition, opposing spirit must block if able. Opposing spirit ultimate must block if able. Oh, that is annoying. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's why his name is True Clash. His entire deck throughout the entire Shonen Gekia done is just about clashing. Ah, that ah. explains it. Yep. Okay. So. <clears throat> Okay, alright. Yep, moving on. <laughs> so let's move on to the next three cards which I'll be taking. The first one here is the, Mi the Sky Mythical Bird Hole Active. So it's a fact, uh, it's a summon, con the summon condition is when you have one or more wing beast spirit. So when this spirit is revealed and to be summoned, ignore the summon condition. Uh, now the blade be the wing beasts uh, play a lot of uh, opening the top, uh, opening the top of the deck. So this one complements to that. So release le uh, three level three and four when this ultimate attacks. You can reveal the top three cards of your deck. You can then pay one cost to summon one card from the family wing beast. Send the remaining cards to the bottom of your deck in any order. If an ultimate is summoned by this effect, send one card from your opponent's life to your opponent's reserve. In addition, by sending three cards from your Grand Walker Nexus to this ultimate, 
this ultimate refreshes. Ooh. So you can potentially send two lives straight to your opponent's uh, reserve. Uh, mm-hmm. Just like that, when this period attacks, that's actually pretty irritating. Huh? It is. Green has got a really irritating these days. <laughs> yeah, but that's just the beginning. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> but before that, let's make a pit stop to the white side. This, the next card that we have here is Holy Glyph Machine God, Geoftic Toto. So the summon condition is ultimate. So the summon condition is when you have one or more armed machine spirit or ultimate, release two. Level 3 and 4 flash during your turn by sending 2 calls from your white ground walker nexus to this ultimate during your opponent's next call step, draw step and refresh step you go through the same steps this effect can only be used once a turn go to well, <laughs> well, well, while it doesn't really have much of uh, say um, oh wait there's one more text as well my yes, bad yes. <laughs> <clears throat> okay uh, it's next effect level 4 and 5 when this ultimate attacks Send one opposing spirit with three calls or less to the bottom of your opponent's deck. If you've done so, refresh this spirit. Hmm. So while the attacking or defending side isn't that annoying, what annoys more is the is the passive side of this skill hmm. uh, of this card, which is to gain to do basically everything your opponent is doing except for the main the main step and the attack step. But here's the thing: <laughs> he do whatever you do, and he does whatever you don't do. That's yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> which is already very annoying, considering how this is also a machine, which is well known for a lot of spirits that have double symbols or they pack a punch. Yes, it's just the whole focus <clears throat> actually. So, yeah. yeah. It, it is, it is. Hmm. I mean, metal, clink, clang. What else can you do about it? And giant ass cannons. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, the last card we have here, this is Grand Walker Horus. So, the core charge condition is Wing Beast, Avatar, Visitant, and Cost 3 or higher, and Wing Beast and Ultimate. Mm-hmm. So, <clears throat> level 1 and 2. Give me a moment. Level 1 and 2. Um, this The symbols on this Grand Walker Nexus is also treated as green and ultimate. La grand skill level 1 and 2 flash during both players attack step by sending 4 cores from this nexus to the void reveal the top 3 cards of your deck pay 1 cost to summon 1 from the family wing beast and send the remaining to the bottom of your deck in any order now this effect does not activate core charge so if you think that you can spam and be happy that's not how it works there are some controls and limitations on the thing still guys yes. maintain <laughs> now, the next one grand field level 2 during your attack step once per turn, change this Nexus's Grand Skill 4 to Grand Skill 1. Oh. You need 6 cores to maintain it at level 2, but the fact that you can only you only need to send 1 to the Void in order to activate the, the Grand Skill is actually pretty good. I think it's supposed to juggle between the two. Because of, yes, correct. So in order to keep it active, you need to be on high cores, and that's actually quite, diff- uh, quite irritating from time to time. Yes. I mean, by uh, although green cards these days can summon really quickly, but the problem is trying to maintain the grand skill for half the time, I believe. Correct. Mm. So, th- which is why whole active is there to support chorus. Because mm. these two go very well with each other. And uh, if you can't if you can't call charge, then use this one to call charge instead. Mm-hmm. That's how basically how it works. Interesting. All right. So uh, well, that is all for this video. Um, I'm pretty sure there are a lot more that you want to see. So head on over to World of Cards um, to find out more of from this set. Uh, but as for now, thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe to us and ring the bell on the side so you can be notified of all of our updates. At the same time, follow us on the socials and join us on Discord. Uh, we'll be there on most nights so you can talk to us there. And lastly, we will see you at the tournament, the Xing Kore High 2018. Or is it 2019? 2019. Mm. So that's it. <laughs> thank you very much for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye! Build that, build that, build that. Okay, it, it is on this one, control it, right? Control, control, control. Just control, been uh. there on only, yeah. Only, yeah, yeah, okay. I, I'm pretty sure Cat doesn't need it, right? Uh, not very important to him, lah. Yeah, control, control, control. Uh, this two very important, let's keep it. Bye. <laughs>